Ocean Wind, together with Acura Offshore Wind, have jointly submitted bids for up to 6 gigawatts of floating wind developments in the outer Moray Firth as part of the Scott Wind leasing process. Together, our experience, our heritage and our ambition will help to accelerate floating wind in Scotland. With a 40% commitment in Scotland for local content and an overall commitment for a 60% in the UK, developing the local supply chain is at the forefront of our proposals. Across the ACA group of companies, we have over 180 years of experience in offshore and maritime. We've been present in Scotland for the past 40 years, delivering and executing multiple offshore projects. We've also been instrumental in over half of all floating structures that are installed globally. So with our strong capability in delivering and executing projects, coupled with Ocean Wind's electricity generating experience and track record, you know, we have a really strong proposition to offer Scotland. Globally, Ocean Winds is one of the world's largest offshore wind developers. But in Scotland, we've actually developed uh, the first and the largest presently deployed offshore wind farm, the 950 megawatt Moray East project. That project itself will produce 40% of Scotland's domestic requirement. The lessons we learned during the development of the Moray East project were then applied to the Moray West project. And from a development timeline of about four or five years, we managed to reduce this to two to three years. This together with the lessons of working with Acker, with their experience in the oil and gas industry, makes me extremely confident that we will deploy floating technology faster than anybody else will be able to do so. The wind farm that we're proposing is based on a proven design. It's the principal power technology. This is a semi-sub design. It's been in operation globally over the past 10 years. The early selection of the wind float for Scott Wind by Ocean Winds and Acker Offshore Wind allows us the opportunity to engineer these wind floats for local infrastructure and capabilities. We have achieved well over 100 gigawatts of energy production, fully proving the technology and demonstrating readiness for utility scale projects. Our experience designing Kincardine, the world's largest floating offshore wind farm recently commissioned offshore Aberdeen, provides a unique understanding of the requirements. So with the knowledge of this technology, we're engaging early with the fabricators. We're building a 3D virtual environment so that they can see the size and the scale of what's needed so that the fabricators can get ready and understand what they'll need to build at a huge scale. It's this early engagement is what will enable us to be successful in building fabrication strongly here in the UK and all aspects of the construction and delivery of the project as well. So we've already built in tens of millions of enabling investment because the supply chain needs time. It needs time to understand what's needed. It needs time to prepare. Our vision is for Scotland and the UK to maintain its position as a global leader in floating offshore wind. We want to contribute to our net zero targets by producing green energy at scale. It's important to us that we work together with all stakeholders to ensure we create highly skilled jobs and exportable technology innovation in Scotland and across the UK. We are determined to be ambitious and credible in our mission to create affordable, sustainable energy for future generations. And we'll do this with commitments to local communities, people, and our planet.